You were reading it? You were reading it? Hello. Merlin, thank you. Thank you. It's Mike. Thanks for taking the call. Thanks. Well, thank you for allowing me to finish my other call. No How problem. are you? Good. So w what we propose is that we sit down with you. Uh, you said that just to take care of the car fare, which is very reasonable, and the uh, hour you know, consulting fee, that it would be uh, fine for us to do that. It's just a matter of picking the day. But we have to do it when we decide on the day now, like uh, do it the money now. Is that correct? Or could we do it the day that you come over? Or would you feel more comfortable with the money, you know, whenever we set the date now? Okay, let me let me tell you what's going to make me comfortable. Okay, yeah. What's going to make me comfortable is your cooperation with what I ask of you. Right. That will make me comfortable. Okay. What will make me comfortable with you? Yeah. Is getting you to allow me to speak when I'm speaking without interrupting me. Right. What will make me comfortable with you is understanding that I do have a business. Right. And I have to run the business a certain way, according to people that advise me. Right. And uh, I have to do things in a certain fashion because right. I'm in a business that could easily be audited by the tax department and by right. other areas of government. And I can't take no chances. It's not right. worth it to me. I want to accommodate any and all of my customers to the best of my ability. Right. I have a bunch of stuff that I could share with you that I know you're going to like. Right. I know you're going to see value in it, and you might even see value in other skills right. and things that I'm capable of doing. Right. And once you learn about my background, you will understand why I do things the way I do. Let me right. just give you a little bullet point of something. Okay. When I worked in the computer industry for almost six years, mm -hmm. my last most position was out in California in San Jose. Right. My director at that time hired me as a regional product and sales training specialist for right. the Northeast region of the United States. Right. I had full control of everything from Boston to Washington to maybe even as far out as Ohio. Right. Okay, now, my director at that time liked the way I do things so much that he casually put on the table an opportunity for me, which I didn't take him up on, right. but he wanted to make me the national training manager for the entire company in the United States. Right. That should give you a little handle on the way I do things and the way people respect the way I do things. Right. I run my business in a meticulous way right. and in a way that keeps people happy and right. hopefully earns me some referrals and other things that will help me build my business. Right. When right. I ask somebody, and please understand this, right. when I asked you, please give me your home address where right. I believe you wanted to have our meeting. Yes, yes. Then I could not understand why you didn't want to give me your address and why you don't want to send it to me in an email. Oh, well, no. I don't understand that. You know what it was? Is that, I'll be really honest with you, uh, you know, we're looking into a lot of different things. And we even have connections. Have you ever heard of Chris Angel? Yeah, I do. I, Chris Angel grew up in Long Island. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. What else? No, we already, you know, we have connections with him too. Uh, his price was a little bit more, but he does astounding tricks. Like he can, you know, jump over the kids with the motorcycle, make them disappear. Can, will you be able to kind of even come close to Chris Angel kind of stuff? Let, let me let me tell you something. Look, right. If you want to pay Chris's price, right, and you want to get Chris's ability. Think right. ahead. He's better than me by right. a long shot. I like that. He's had more opportunities to like get him that. where he is. Right. And just so you understand, Chris right. Angel, Chris Angel right. is the child of a family that owned diners in Long Island. Really? And yeah, his his parents owned many diners, I believe, in Long Island, and they had all the money he needed to oh. get his 
himself going to where he's going. Okay, now, so they gave him they gave him the so, money to you know, start. His, he couldn't have been so good he, if he didn't have the seed money like Trump. Like Trump, he he wouldn't have been good. He got the start because his family was successful. He right? got a springboard start that right. is beyond belief. I right. didn't have that. Right. Everything I've done in my life right. has been on my my own ambitions, my own sacrifice, right. my own practice. I mean, right. I'm getting up there, but well, it takes time. Right. And even though I can't jump off a building and appear down on the cement without being hurt, right, or do the things that some of these guys that you see doing on right. TV, right. look, I do stuff that's in line with good quality close-up magic. That's right. what I do. Right. You okay. Right. I don't follow Chris Angel. I don't knock him for what he does. Right. Uh, but his style is not my style. My style is more in line with family-oriented stuff like David Copperfield. Okay. His style is a style I like to emulate. Okay. Um, uh, David Blaine, to some degree, when he's doing right. close-up, Maybe I'll emulate him, but I... You can, wait, you can do a little David Blaine, because that's what my kid's looking for, David Blaine, Chris Haynes. You can do... What would be the craziest stuff that you could do? Could you well, make my wife you, disappear? Why don't you... <laughs> take my wife. Of, wait, listen yeah. to me. Yeah. Listen, it's very hard to get you right. to understand things unless you meet me and you see what I'm capable of doing. A sure. lot of stuff I do, some sure. of the stuff I do right. is in the category of mentalism. Right. Some, of the, some of the stuff I do is in the category of what Shin Lim would do with card magic, but right. he's still slightly better than me, but there is a trick that I do that uh -huh. is very high level, it took me two years to master, oh, really? and I won't even do it without 10 days notice. All right, well, I'll give you the notice now. Listen, can you do like Houdini stuff where you put like like uh, handcuffs on you behind your back and then we tie ropes around you and put you in a bag and you get out of it in like five minutes? Well, that, what, you, what you're really looking for on that, if you're looking for that yeah. kind of stuff, yeah. then I'm not your guy. Oh. Okay, now let me let me just let you know that right off the cuff. I. If you're right. looking for that kind of stuff, that stage mm -hmm. magic, it's a whole different brand of magic. Right. Um, that That's not my game. My right. game is more right. in tune with what I told you earlier, and I think if you see what I do in person and you meet me, you're going to be very happy with what I can do. Because what I can do allows me to m m be more mobile in an atmosphere like yours. Right. And it allows me to accommodate the eyeballs of uh, people in this area, people in that area, and do it right. independently enough so people have a good time. Yeah. And there's other stuff I do that's amazingly creative. Like what? Yeah, you can, you like, gotta, pull you out. You gotta see for crying out loud. Do you, you have animals like me. a rabbit out of a hat? My kids would like that. Rab do you have like a rabbit? You can pull the rabbit out of the hat. Any Listen, kind of let, me, let yeah. me put it to you like this. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah. If I told you that some of the creative stuff I do right. would totally please your audience, right. you, you either make a choice to believe me or you don't. <laughs> you got to understand something, my friend. What you yes. want to do right now yes. is you want to have an interview with me on the phone without meeting me. That's no good. Right. You got right. to meet me and let me show you some of the work I do. Right. Then you will have a better mindset of what I'm capable of, and right. then you're in a better position to make a decision whether or not you like me. For right. you telling me what you're telling me right now is not making progress right. if you want to make progress with me let's have a meeting let me meet with you right. your wife and i'll even allow you to have one more person at this meeting well we don't Nobody need anyone i mean if you want to meet my kid but it'd be better of a surprise you know what i mean then where he knows you then he'll think like you're part of the family it's better like look we hired you know somebody who's not as great as chris angel but you know we can tell him that why don't you 
do things according to what I'm telling you. Okay. Uh, let me Get write this me down. your home address. Right. Okay. Put it in an email. I'll put it in the email. I will right. send you. I email. will send you a an invoice for the meeting. Okay, and let's Excuse go me. from there. All right, let me just add, I just have I to ask you that. something. Is there a possibility that I could re record the meeting since there's money and play it at the bar mitzvah? That would be just wild. No, I would prefer that you didn't do that because ultimately okay. the purpose of the meeting is not How much is the meeting? To, How much is the meeting? Listen, yeah. the purpose of the meeting is to allow you to get a little insight into what I do oh. and to make a decision whether or not you want to hire me. Okay. We are in your you area. Uh, Mike, Mike, listen to me for a second. Yes. I could have said to you when I first heard about you liking me right. that you wanted to hire me, I could have said, okay, let's book the deal. Right. You know why I didn't do that? Why? You want me to tell you why I didn't do that? Because well, money is not the ultimate goal here. Right. It's an important part of the goal, right. but it's not the ultimate goal. Right, right. The ultimate goal is to make sure that what I do satisfies my customer. Right, right. If right, all right. I was interested in was doing this for the money, that wouldn't even be thinking this way. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about your wife. I'm thinking right. about whether or not you guys genuinely like me for what oh, I Oh, we do. like you. You don't even know how, just when we met you as a family, believe me, everybody loves you. You're kind of sometimes in the talk, that's why I keep communicating. You're the talk of the town sometimes, just saying. Uh, at least, at least my, my, my wife likes you. I like, you know, the magicians that can make, you know, people disappear and the handcuffs, but you're more of the of the sleight of hand with the cards. It'll be more card tricks, right? Let me meet you and show you some of the work I do. Okay, could I, when could I we, you, you do... originally, you right. only got a little taste of what I can do. Right. Let right. me come into the meeting with you okay. and show you a couple of things that you will be excited about. In you order to it? make another step forward, I need you to send me a... Maybe email. we could do a Zoom meeting. What do you think? Then it's... No, it, it... I will not do things that way. Oh, okay. I want to meet you in person. Right. Okay? I want to interact with you. I want you to interact with me. True. I want you to get a taste of what yeah. I can do. Right. And all this other stuff is just, it's its not as effective as what I'm telling you. Okay, okay. I'm it, doing it, my it, business, Mike. I'm doing my business yeah. now. Thank God. I'm doing my business now. This is the start of my 21st year. 21 years you you've been in the business? If you knew what I went through in 21 years, you would give me a fucking trophy at the size of of maybe <laughs> one story high. I'm going to go do that tomorrow. Mom, we're going to get him a trophy. <laughs> Definitely. Let me tell you something. Well, tell you me wouldn't about believe. Tell you me. wouldn't believe, man. You, you, if you knew my story and you knew tell what me. I sacrificed, Tell me. I got to be able this. to do the little that I do. Tell me. And be as effective as I am. How? I guarantee you, you would, you would go out and give me an award because it's amazing. I've already been invited. Right. In a, a year or two ago, I met right. the executive producer of the former David Letterman show. Really? And the executive producer with his kids was so enthralled with me. Right. He, he he said to me, you know what? I like you a lot. Would you mind? These were his words. Yes. Would you mind giving us three minutes? What did that mean? I don't even know what that meant. What do you mean? That they, meant the executive producer? Yeah. That's the guy that books all the talent that goes on the TV show. They were going to tell you whether you were a go, whether you were going to literally be a sensation that day? 
When, when did this they happen? Told me, the guy told me at that time, he said to me at that time, he asked me, he right. said to me, would you mind giving us three minutes right. on the David Letterman show? And I said, absolutely not, as long as you guys pay my fee and, you know, whatever else is involved, I'd be happy to. Of course, yeah. I and mean, you need the to promote. Yeah. why I didn't get the spot is because they plan out their episodes three to four months in advance, and unless somebody dropped out, I wasn't getting in. Oh. So that, that's the reason. Wow. But wow. those right. powerful people, yes. those are powerful people. Yeah. And if that guy, that's not just a regular TV producer. Right, right. That guy is the boss of all the producers. Right. I you got this. Marilyn, I'm going to tell you something. When you do this job, you're going to be meeting uh, my job. I told you I have a big match and I make a lot of money. There's going to be a lot of money people there. There's this one guy. His name is Rich. Per we call him Rich Person. And I'm going to introduce you personally. You'll do a, a little uh, card, to, you know, at, at his table. You'll go over there with the cards and stuff. All right. So I got news for you. Yeah. If there's somebody important there, I won't just go over there with a basic trick. I will be going over there with a very advanced routine oh. that's taken months to master. And Perfect. trust me on this. Perfect. You will be amazed. The, the other day, Perfect. Perfect. I'm not kidding you, the other day, yeah. I was doing something for somebody on a casual basis. Right. And this guy was sitting down outside, eating his food. Right with his friend, and the guy was so impressed with what I did, he jumped out of his freaking table. What? And ran down the street <laughs> screaming. <laughs> he <laughs> ran down the street <laughs> screaming. Was that making a YouTube video? And he came back and he said, Man, you are coming to my birthday party when you come to the Bronx. Oh my God, the Bronx, who goes there? No, I'm not kidding you. This guy was. I wish I recorded this. Oh my this God! Guy was Scream. screaming. Okay, Mike. Listen, I don't gotta sell myself. You know, if you, know. If you well, you're you want, sold. If sold. you want to have a good time, I then do. you're talking to me. You want to go spend a million dollars to go buy Chris Angel? Well, go ahead. No, go ahead. No. If you want to go buy Lance Burton, go buy him. I, I How much does he him. charge? I don't know him that well. Is he good? Well, trust me, you're getting a sweet deal from me. You yeah. get, and you're getting a really sweet deal from me. All from right. My, I'm, in my knowledge, you're getting right. a sweet deal. All right. Okay, because everybody else in my business will charge probably right. close to two thousand dollars. So right. you're getting a deal. Oh, believe me, you don't think that I know that I'm getting a deal. That's why we were interested. You told me your rates off the bat. You said I believe it was uh, seven fifty for four hours plus transportation costs. Yeah, it depends on the day of the week. It's seven fifty. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, I'll Here's just... what I tell. I'll tell you again, so you know. Yeah, I want to know. If you're local, let me speak. Don't interrupt me. I interrupt a lot. I'm sorry. That's just I my know, nature. You got to You got to practice patience. I know, but well, I'm also the the the, the customer. Right, the customer. I know you're right. excited. I'm excited. I know you're excited, but I'm let excited. me tell you something. Excited. Let me speak for a second, okay? Please, Here's please what I tell everybody, do. and I don't mind telling everybody this, because to me, when they call me, right, uh, they can call me in six months. They can call me next week. They can call me next year. Right. I know one thing. If I right. tell them something up front, whenever they call me, if I tell them right. the same thing again. Right. I don't know who the freak these people are. Right. But I know this. If I tell them the same thing I told them when I first met them, I just built credibility. Mm. And if there's anything more important in my business, right? it's credibility. That's true. You understand? I do. So when I tell you a price and I make a commitment to it, then I made a commitment to it. Yes. Okay? The only way that's going to mean, like, if somebody calls me in two years from now, I don't know if I'm going to still have the same price structure. Oh, no, the price is going up. All right, I'm getting a good deal, though. All right, because you pandemic, understand? because of the pandemic. Believe me, you're worth uh, 2000 And literally, if, you know, on a regular, if everything's back to normal, I'll give you, we'll give you a tip. 
And the tip will be in cash. Don't even worry. You know what I'm saying? Nothing about it. I, I, Nobody well, I knows know nothing. exactly what you're saying, but yeah. listen to me carefully. Yeah. I have got to have a way right. to prove that right. I'm doing business. And the only way I can do that is yeah. if I have things in writing. That's it. Right. Now, if somebody calls me, I'm just going to let you know this right now. If somebody yeah. calls me yeah. from a bigger company right, and they have a bigger project going on, right. that is something that falls out of the scope of what I normally would charge, right. and I will charge for that type of a special event okay. independently. Okay. Okay. So but most of the stuff I do is either corporate work right. or mom and pop work. Or medium-sized business work, or whatever. Well, am I, I, us being a bar mitzvah? Where do we fall into? Are we corporate, or are we a mom and pop? I'm thinking. I'm, not, mom. I'm, I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking at you as falling in my basic pricing structure, which okay. is, if you're local, then you're either in Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, or Nassau right. County. And in those areas, I will give any amount of time up to two hours for $500. Okay. And the only time I charge more is if I there's parking. Right. Or if there's, like, for example, in my regional area, there's parking and tolls. Oh, so, okay. But in right. my local area, it's generally just a parking fee. Right. In my regional area, my right. regional area is right. just outside of the... Holland, Lincoln, or GW Bridge. How about it? Westchester, the Bronx. What about Texas? Stuff if somebody, if somebody, like forget about that. Say you meet somebody and they go this way. Forget about that. Those I'm, charges are seven fifty Monday through Thursday, and eight fifty Friday, Saturday, and Sunday plus gas. Hold on, let me get. I got vote. my calculator. Wait, I got a calculator. Hold on. Out of right. that area is my corporate rate, which generally is 2500 for day one, okay. plus any and all my travel expenses, each additional day is $1,000. All so right. That's how I price myself. Okay. The only way I will price myself out of that is when I'm considering a very special project for a very large company, and it involves other factors. That's it. But those are my prices. And if you were listening, I told you what they I are. I was listening. I was just writing it down. Hold on. When I do a get-to-know-me type of meeting, right. it's 50% of the normal price with a limit of free people at the meeting. And that's it. Well, and I know I'm getting a good deal. If people at the meeting, then it's no longer a meeting. It'll be full price. All right. My, I have a lawyer, but uh, her name is uh, Britster, but I'm not going to bring my lawyer to this meeting, even if we're paying you. I'm not bringing You don't Britster. have to. I mean, you could bring anybody you want. The Britster? Yeah. I could. Uh, you I, want I me to bring Britster? Some of my Brits? restaurant customers yeah. have, have had their lawyers right there. And right. they were flabbergasted at what I, were, what I was doing. They couldn't believe how good I was. And and they just, they, I said, did you like it? Do you, you know, the lawyer's right here. What do you think? You know, right, right, they, right. they love me. So what am I going to tell you? Man? And you know, you know, we're going to feed you, right? And, and you can take food home. You know what I'm saying? We'll put it in those. Cause Any we, extras that you have yeah. are not necessary. But if you want to do what you want to do, it's up to you. Well, okay. I don't impose anything more than what I ask. If right. people want to be nice to me and they want yeah. to take my, take care of my dinner or they want to get apricot brandy for me or whatever right. the fuck they want to do, it's right. all good. You can get I drunk if you want. If we're just saying as long as you perform, if you get drunk, we're okay with no, that. No, I you? don't drink when I'm, I do oh. not drink when I'm performing. Well, I do not drink I'm going to buy, I'm going to, I'm going to bring over, what, what's your favorite? So I'll know. Uh, what's your favorite? After the, it's over, you'll have a drink with Well, you. I really don't drink at all, but once in a while I'll have a, a sip of apricot brandy. I'm going to write that down, apricot well, brandy. I, okay. <laughs> I Sometimes it. I'll have a sip of black brew, but I won't drink when I'm working. I do oh. not drink when I'm working at all. All right. And very rarely do I drink anything at all anyway. The only time I, I may have a beer or something... 
Right. Yes, like for example, when the, this wonderful football game is coming up next oh, week. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Would you Super want to come Bowl, over that I day? I never miss the Super Bowl. You want to come I over love the Super it for Bowl the game, Sunday? And I love it for the advertising. Yeah, the advertising, Budweiser. Well, Budweiser is not going to be this year. What? What are you talking Budweiser about? Budweiser is not going to be in the in the Super Bowl this year. Are you kidding? And I I applaud their decision because why? Well, their, their decision comes down to yeah. um, the coronavirus situation, okay? And right. in, in a sense, I kind of support where they're coming from, but there are going to be new players. You know, generally when somebody spends, like in previous years, the, the last year it was like $5 million to get 32nd spot. Could you imagine? I can't imagine They throw this that. much money away. When I when I meet people, yeah, I'm going to educate you about something. Please do. If you listen to me, I'm going to educate you about a couple of things that could help you in okay. your regular business. I want what to learn. I want to learn. Respect. I want to learn. Go well, ahead. here's me. something I want to tell you. Respect. Think about what I'm going to say to you right now. Yes. Any reasonable company right. of reasonable level let's say the company's right. making at least a million dollars a year in sales okay okay so we're going to look companies that are in the category of earning a million dollars and up okay right. right these companies are established enough right. to have a marketing department and the sole responsibility of the marketing department is to do one of the two things. Yes. Increase the awareness of branding or uh, increase sales. Right. Or both. Right. Okay? That's the whole right. purpose of the, what they're doing. Either I'm learning. I'm learning from you. I'm, I'm writing this down. Go ahead. No, there's either increase the awareness of their brand. Right. And ultimately increase their sales because if they don't have sales, they don't have a business. How about I put you on a billboard? It says Merlin the magician. He gives out your phone number, and uh, if you get, you know, you give me a certain amount. Can we get a billboard for like I don't know a month for like a hundred dollars? Let's why do, don't do we that. Do this first? Merlin why the magician. Listen, Mike, would you do me you'll a favor? Be a, you'll be in a, t in a, in a, like a top Mike, cut, uh, t a Mike, top Mike, listen to me, man. Yeah. Listen, Mike, would you do me a favor? I'll do it. And let me finish what I was just telling you. Okay. And then we're going to end this call, and you're going to send me your address in an email. Okay, I'll do and it. And we're going we're gonna to pick a date after I get that. I'm going to send you my invoice by PayPal. You can pay me through PayPal. I am a registered business user with you. PayPal which should also give you some very good confidence because you can't get a PayPal account without being thoroughly vetted by PayPal. There's I don't no I don't way. do I don't do emails. You call me, you see I'm available at night time. I don't do emails. Let's just do this. You want me to give you the money and then we let's just pick the date now, we'll send you the money. What day? Sir, let's sir pick here's the, yeah. what you need Mike, to please, do. Mike, please I'm not sir. Mike do this Mike and Sir, if you cannot oh, do what I'm asking you to do, what do you, want me to you do? are going to prevent me from helping you. You Let's need to cooperate now. with me. You're not stupid. You're a nice man. My son, we're stupid. Hey, listen, I can vend you the money. You, you know Venmo? You know that? It's a cash app. Sir, you've yeah. got to cooperate with the way I do my business or right. you're going to put uh, a, a, a stake in the heart of this deal. You either want to cooperate with me or you don't. If you do, you're right. going to be very thrilled at what, what you're going to find out. If you don't, then I have to look the other way. No, I already if know. You're I dynamite. You, you're dynamite. I love you. Who are you? I love you. Come if, on, well, thank you. If, yeah. you. if you want me to work with you, sir, right. please do things my way and let me let me help you. Right. Okay, right. I want to help you, man, but I, I need help. I Believe cannot me. let you tell me how to run my business. No. I make it so easy for everybody. If I have a business PayPal account, right. it's been thoroughly vetted by PayPal. Right. Go to go it's legit. Online. You're legit. You're legit. That's what I like. I'm not dealing with anybody, you know, dishonest. 
Always okay, energetic. well then respect me, man, and respect. don't give me a hard time. I've been giving you a respect. hard time. Do you? Uh, you know, we were vetting you. We were vetting you, bro. I mean, do you think I was giving you a hard time? Because I apologize. Man. I want to work with you. Well, it, well, then the next step for us is yes, to terminate this say? call. Why? Terminate this call. Let send me an email with your home address. Go I will you. send you a PayPal invoice. Right. You don't even need a PayPal account. You oh. can pay it any way you want. Right. Okay. You, you can pay it with a credit card. You can pay it any way you want. Oh, okay. Okay. You don't even need a PayPal account. What about Bitcoin? I, I, I don't own no, it. it. Look, man, do me a favor, please, my yeah. friend. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you in the kindest way. Yes. Let's stop the BS. I okay. told you what I want. I'm going to send you an invoice okay. after I get your home address. Okay. I'll send you an invoice. It will be totally clear. Okay. And just pay it with a credit card or whatever. You don't even need a PayPal account. All right. Okay? Uh, but and if, when I get paid, then I will call you back, right. and we will set a time to meet. Okay? Uh, just and just so you know, this week, I, I actually – no, this week's out of the question. Now, uh, the smell. Totally are, are you going to be screwed? Week. Are you going to be screwed? We're screwed up here. I do have a landscaper, but they're not going to be getting here for a couple of days. What's your situation? Do you have to shovel or well, do you have a landscaper? Right, right now, right now, yeah. look, the way things look, it's going to be 12 to 14 inches right. where I am, and it's going to be a mess for the next couple of days. Right. Let's get the invoice out of the way, right. and we will we will table our meeting for when what day is convenient for both of us, and we'll move on from there. But Mike, you got to do things my way, or you're going to just put a stake in this. And no, it, this is happening, my friend. This, this is happening. You're going to perform for my son's uh, bar mitzvah. I I'm going to perform other... for you too. I'm going to perform Please. for your relatives. I'm going to perform for everybody and you're everybody's going to love what I do. Jerry, Trust you're me. gold. Do you remember the Seinfeld episode? You're gold, Jerry. You're gold. You're golden. You're okay, really... good. Well, well, right now, all that is is words. But when you see me, then you will probably make me platinum. So I, I will. So I will. All I, right. So look, come on, man. I got other things I got to do right now. What are you gonna Please do? I mean, I really me. have nothing to do. This is the only chance I get when the kid is the kids are asleep that I can smoke the magic cigarette. You know what I'm talking about? Whatever floats your boat, right, man. Right. This is okay. the only time. Whatever right. floats your boat. I. Right. Uh, by the I, way, my wife said something. My kid, you know that he is starting to, you know, like girls now, right? Uh -huh. Is there any kind of like assistant that you can bring, you know, over that, you know, might, you know, be able to kiss him or something? Just that he's never even, you know, he's thirteen. Listen, years old. I everything I do is independent. I don't use any other yeah. people. Okay, right, it's right. just me. Okay, me, myself, and I, right. and my, my attire that I bring to an event. Okay, so please do me. How are you going to dress up? Are you going to have a top, like a top Why don't color? you let me end this freaking call? Why? It's gold, Jerry, gold. Why? I want you to do me a favor, please. Yeah. And just please send me your home address <laughs> right. and an email. Right. And we will go from there. That Is that okay? Good. And can I bid you farewell for tonight? I just love talking to you, but I understand. You got things to do. I, I understand. I got more things to do than you imagine. I got, yeah. like, I I can't freaking believe it's 1140 what? almost. That's perfect. My kids will be asleep in, like, 20 minutes. I'm going to well, fire them you. Up. Well, yeah. I've got... Stuff I got to take events. care of, okay? Listen, I look forward to our meeting. I look forward to giving you the money that's important to me, that you like me too for the money, you know what I mean? And the tip. I want to like you tip. as a human being. The Fuck tip. the money. You know something? What? Money? Do it let, for me, free, let me tell you something about money. Ah. Let me tell you something about money, okay? Yeah. And, and then I'm going to hang up the phone okay. on this. Listen yeah. to me. Money is just a tool. That's all it is. And when yeah. you die, you can't take it with you. And you can't right. take your luxuries with you. Right. When you're dead, you're right. done, man. Everything that you earned, everything that you right. got in your life, right. every benefit you got in your life is gone. Right. When God says your time is oh, up, your time God. is up, buddy. Oh, my God. That's you're bringing me down. You can't take oh, the money God. with you. You can't do anything. Relationships, my friend, are more important than money will ever be. 
because the money will always be there when you have good relationships with people. You know Trust what? me. It's funny because I happen to have a safety deposit box uh, that my wife doesn't know about, but it's, you know, if I died, she and it's all cash in there. You know what I'm saying? Just Whatever. Like well, that's about your life, and you run your life any way you want. But right, yeah. I, look, Do you have I a safety money, deposit box? Money is not my god, my friend. Oh. My my money is not my god. It's one of the most important things in life. Right. Without it, you can't have a good life. But you know what? I learned along the way. If you got good, solid relationships with people, right. If people respect you, if people want to work with you. Money will always be there, okay? Yeah. It's 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 not it's not the ultimate in life. What do you think all these people do with all their money when they get all their money? Look at Bill Gates. Right. If Bill Gates Bill Gates got more freaking money, he knows what to do with. You know what right. he did with most of his money? What did he do? He made a uh, uh, a promise, uh, some kind of a promise. Uh-huh. that many other people on his level of income have also made, that when they die, a lot of their money is going to go to this fund and right. it's going to help the world or whatever it's going to do. Right. You know, money, look, we all want the big house. I mean, I, I wish I had a better lifestyle, but I'm working on it. But the bottom line is, so you got your big house, you got your lawn, you got your two, three cars, you got your boat. Right. You go on vacation three times a year. I, I don't have a boat. I do all that. I have a mansion. Yep. I have uh, three cars. We just don't have a boat. All right. Well, all right. So then make a goal for yourself and go buy a boat. Well, when you die, all that stuff goes, man. Well, my, my And you wife can't was... enjoy it all at one time. Right. right. You can't. There's no way. I'm not buying There's no them. way. You can go on three, four vacations a year. Great, wonderful. But if you're not working, you're dying. Where you do you know? vacation? Do you vacation in, say, Bart's? Where do you vacation? Listen, it, <laughs> let me answer that question another time. Please send me your home address where we're right. going to have this meeting. Okay. And let me get off the phone. Okay. Send me an email with that. Okay. I'll send you an invoice when I have time. Yeah. You pay the invoice, and then we'll pick a date that we'll meet. Can't we okay, just pick the date go. now? I really got to go. Let's pick the date now, and then we can just, I'll tell my wife, but yeah. it has to be a Sunday. Uh, listen listen to me. Yeah. Listen to me. Yes, yes. I'll listen to you. We will pick a date after I see you. You've done yeah. what I want you to do. Right. Please send I don't me do emails. an email. We Who does email? Address, this is 2021. Who does emails when they're Zoom? I just don't understand Sir, Do me that. a favor. Yeah. I really got to go. I don't want to be rude, but I have a million things I got to do. And I got another couple of calls I got to make, too. Listen, please, do okay. what I ask. All right. Send me an email with your okay. home address, okay. and I will do what I said I'm going to do. All right. Okay? All right. Will Listen, you do that? I look forward. We're going to have uh, some some uh, a- apricot brandy when I meet you for our meeting. That'll listen, loosen up the mood. Well, that that'll will be loosen. after we, we after I do what I got to do for you. I'm not going to drink while I'm working with you. If my wife's okay. not there, I'll be able to smoke a magic cigarette. While you're having the apricot brandy, I'll smoke a magic cigarette. As you can do whatever you makes you happy, yeah. okay? Whatever yeah. makes you happy. Would you kindly let me get off the phone now? And some cheese. We'll have fine cheese there. Apricot. That's really the best way to enjoy it. Listen, do me a favor. I really got to go. Mike, yeah. I know you want to keep me on the phone. I got to go. Okay. Will you send me, okay. Your, okay. You send okay. me your home address? I, I know, know what enough is enough. You've had enough of me. And I, and I understand because, believe me, my wife calls me boring. So I understand. In fact, I was you called boring by... You are not a boring by, person by any stroke of today, the imagination. Earlier today, someone said I was very boring. You are a very outgoing excited personality they should have waited somebody they would have heard them. that yeah. wants to spend a lot of time with people i get yeah. it but i gotta go okay i understand i understand too I, send me you. your home address and an email and we will go from there Sounds can good. i say good night now please please do i'm gonna say arrivederci till we meet again arrivederci <laughs> arrivederci my friend about adios right or uh Hasta la vista, baby.
All right, listen, are you going to do what I asked? Am I going to get an email from you tonight? Uh, yeah, you're going to get an email as soon as I... With finish. your home address? Yeah, of course. Okay, good. Then, then when week. I get that, we'll go on from there. Have a great night. I have to go. Please let me go. You're going to have a COVID-19 <laughs> test, right? I mean, <coughs> prior to... The... Please let me go, Mike. Or, prior Come to on, the meeting, Mike. You're, co you're coughing. I mean, now I'm getting nervous. Mike, do me uh, a favor. Please let me go. I have things I got to do. Please. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Have a good night, All Mike. Right, I'm, bye -bye. I'm really, I'm hanging up now. I'm going to be looking I love, for your email and we'll go I love from there. you, man. I love you. I love you. Okay. Good. Bye -bye. I love you, too. Have bye. a good day. Bye. Okay. That was good. Uh, <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.